welcome back to Let's Build Hogwarts, part 74. Today we are going to finish this time the Viaduct Bridge. And if there's a bit of time, we'll do a tiny bit of landscaping at the end of it. So, and then next week we'll be starting on the entrance here. I have to say, when it comes to this half of the build, we do do the interior too. However, a lot of the interior is a guesswork because there's no blueprints to Hogwarts, so nobody actually knows what goes where. We know some bits, like the Gryffindor dormitory goes on the seventh floor, but that's it. I don't know where on the 7th floor that goes. So there's going to be a lot of guesswork involved on the interior. We've kind of just put things where they'll fit because there's a couple of the main rooms that we want to work on like the room of requirement and charms and um, Myrtle's bathroom. So those are your main rooms. We've kind of put them wherever they'll fit best. The library. The library's quite cool. Um, so, yeah, the inside, we've done the best we can, but there is an inside. So next week, with a bit of luck, we'll be on the entrance hall. But for now, let's crack on with this bridge. So for our equipment, we're going to want some, let's get some wool. Let's go for some yellow wool. They're going to make great markers, the wool. We want some stone brick and we're going to want I think that's it. We'll throw some andesite wall in there in case we accidentally knock some off because we do do that sometimes. At least I do that. Cobblestone. Gonna need some cobblestone. And I think that's it. Okay, so short list this week. Unless we get to the landscaping. So, right, what we're going to do is we're going to find a marker again. Which was okay. Okay, we don't need it to be exact on this part. So, what we're doing is we're just going to draw a line there, like so. So, we've taken it from the end of that three point there, and that we're going to class as the end of the bridge. Let's get some more wool. Some orange will be different to change. So I'm going to count that as the end of the bridge. I'm going to count it because we want to find the middle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. So the middle of the bridge is not quite where we want it to be. Okay. 
75. So it's actually going to be 75. Half of 75 is 35.5, which is not much good to us. And good, yes, it is 76. If we find the 36th block, so we've got 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That's the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just a rough estimate of the middle. And I think that works for us quite well. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to call that the middle. So we're going to follow the line down. A marker so we're going to leave this column here intact and we're going to take away three one two three so we've made a little window but it's not going to have glass in it. It's three blocks wide and then we're just going to repeat that pattern like so all the way along. Sure you leave one block below at the bottom and one block above. And just keep going until you can't go no further. Like so, so that one, it would be that one that would be knocked out. Oops. And then follow it through on this side. So as you can see, it's nice and quiet today. Kids have gone to school. My little boy has started school. Got to admit, kind of missing. Look at that, that's worked out quite nicely. Almost as if I planned it like that. I hadn't actually. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to do the same on this side. So that's the middle block there. I'm going to keep that one intact and we went this way. 
two, three. Okay. That's it. I'm going to fast forward this now. You've got the idea. Okay, so as you can see, I've just kind of melded it into the side there because there wasn't really enough room for another one, but I've just kind of made it look like so that the cliff has taken over the bridge, which is essentially what has happened anyway. So that's the kind of look we're going for. Or the bridge is working around the landscaping. <laughs> so, and then continue over on this side. worked out rather well I hope yours has worked out just as well because it does finish it off quite nicely okay oh we've not put it in so we're gonna grab our cobblestone now and the cobblestone goes in the middle so it's one block below and one block above and then just fill it in in some pictures it looks like a path another bridge sort of thing but it's not it is a platform but it's not accessible but at least not like we can tell if you really really wanted to if you really really wanted to you could build a secret entrance there into Hufflepuff maybe even down to Slytherin because that's what's under that that's Slytherin down there so yes yeah, so you could build a secret entrance if you really wanted to I'm sure Hogwarts is full of them well it is you know it is So I'm just going to fill this in all the way across, so I'm going to fast forward a moment. Just gonna tie it off as best we can. I can't really do much more until the landscaping on this side of things. So we'll just leave it there for now and we'll fix that, finish that later when it comes to that kind of landscaping down there, which is gonna be a little while off because I'm not going to touch the landscaping over there until we've got some more building over there. So if we do get some to some landscaping today, we're going to go back over to the side and I think we're around the clock tower courtyard. No, we're not. We're around the quad still. <laughs> back side of the quad. We'll get there. Right. 
So now for the support legs. Okay, so we're gonna base the first one there and we're gonna go all the way down. So we're gonna use our stone brick and we're gonna go directly under this middle one. And we're gonna take this all the way to the floor. Like so. So we've got a big long pole. I'm going to come across four on the diagonal and three on that diagonal. And then we're going to raise each one up all the way. going to get rid of that dirt. I don't want to keep the colours not quite right. Get rid of the rest later. It's not quite right. All the way up. Till you meet floor, uh, just double check that. Yes, indeedy. Okay, so we're going to go this way first because this side is the more fiddly side. That side is fairly straightforward. We're just going to repeat our legs all the way down. Uh, when we come to do the landscaping on this side, we're going to cut the legs off. The legs will be cut up. So for the time being, I'm going to come fairly low down. I'm going to come across five. Then you're going to put in another leg. So it's four on that side. So drag this up.
and then drag it down as low as it will go. Just work around your landscaping. Okay, and same again. We're going to come down as low as we think we can get. I'm going to put in five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then it's one, two, going to be a little bit short on the third so let's raise it up a little bit and the third can go there just one two three or and four
your legs will get shorter as they go up the landscaping. Okay, we might squeeze part of one in there. So let's start from the top, shall we? The one, two, three, four, five. So it's one, two, and three. One, two, three. We've got four across there, three across there, two and three. Yeah, that'll be the last leg on this bit. Drag this one down. Oops. a bit there I think I've lost my bearings a bit here. Ah, okay, I've got another one to come out. Now that one. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to put little archways in the top of it. So we're going to come down in tools. So what we're going to do is we'll start with a full one over here. So we have our middle block which is there. We're going to add two to that side, two to that and then four to that. So two there. Two there, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Nope, one, two, three. Four. And we're going to put two on that one. I close it up a little bit, but it makes more sense for us that way, really, doesn't it? 
Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Place today, aren't I? Two and I can put that one there. Uh, I think that one's meant to be a full leg, so we'll just close it up a little bit there. There we go. Oops, got the bees. One, two, one, <clears throat> two, and three, and four. Two, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this side is going to be a lot easier, a lot more straightforward, and I will be using the fast forward. Because there's no landscaping to work around. Pitch in again. One, two, three, and four, and five. So we just need to line, mark it all out like that. Four along, three wide every five blocks one two three four and five one two and three four long one two three three four and five two and three I think we'll get one more in. One, two, three, four, and five. Two and three. Let's see where that takes us. We might squeeze one more in there. Don't forget the landscaping. You're going to cut a lot of this off. When the landscaping comes down, you are going to cut a lot of the legs off. But it does make things easier at the moment to line it up correctly. So gap of five. One, two and three. Let's just see where that one's at. I'm going to use the fast forward now so raise up all your legs raise your legs up and then put the skirt on essentially isn't it put the pattern on at the top it looks like a skirt in a way so put your legs on and put your skirt on <laughs> see you in a few So, obviously, I'll see you in a few later. Don't take it any higher than the floor to this. I'd have to build this out a little bit to Right. 
but I will see you in a few. bits up here. It's not really a skirt, more like frills. Too short to be a skirt. Huh. So put your frills on. So I'll fast forward this bit as well. Two then four. Two then four on both sides. gonna leave that last one okay and that's our bridge more or less done as I say once we've done more of that side and the landscaping those legs will be cut off at a diagonal and yeah, so it's pretty much done now this bridge we just need to clean up our mess we can get rid of all of our markers now get rid of all of the mess Clean it all up. Oh, oh I have to fill that in as well, otherwise the water won't go right. I think that's it. Should I get rid of that 
Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Um, oh gosh, better sorry. Um, da, 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 da. Is that lining up okay? I've really, I've probably checked this fifteen times now, but it does make you nervous sometimes because it doesn't look right sometimes. I think we'll leave that line in just for now. There's no harm in leaving it, is there? So. There's a viaduct bridge. Time away. Fifty-seven minutes. For you, it'll be much lesser because we have used quite a lot of fast forward. Um, we will do a touch of the landscaping, and I really mean a touch of landscaping. go and have a look and see where we've got up to back here. So we're going to go down this side, the clock tower, the, the, the courtyard, not the clock tower courtyard. Right, so we really want to focus on this bit here, don't we? No, we're not going to get all of that done today. In fact, we're probably not even going to get a good chip. We might get some. Let's see how far. I think we'll tackle the straight bit there. Um, and we're going to stick with our grass blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing we always do. We're going to start here and we're just going to focus on the straight edge bit. I'm going to draw the line down, then drag it out and then detail it. So I'm going to come down two and then out one. Out and down three and then we're going to come down in threes all the way down it's a fairly straightforward bit this bit Okay, so don't detail below the sea level that we have here. So let's just draw a line across. So that's the top of your sea level. Don't detail below there because it just makes things a little bit more difficult when it comes to the water. So from, I'd make that one your last one. Don't detail below it though. Because, as I say, it makes things well, tricky when it comes to the water. 
So we're going to bring it out for as long as it is straight. Which would be there. And then next time, all we've got to do is kind of join that with that. Which can be a little bit fiddly, or you, you, you just play it by ear, to be quite honest. You just meld it as best you can if you want to have a go at it. Be my guest, have a go at it. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward this now. I'm just going to drag it all out. thinking do you really need to take it all the way down to the bottom yes you do well you don't have to but it would make things a lot easier if you did because then we can use that bit of landscaping to bounce the water off otherwise when you release the water it's not really going to go anywhere you need somewhere to bounce the water off so if you don't build up that there you're gonna have to build a wall at some point somewhere in order for the water to fill and you don't really want the water all the way in there even certain what all the way in there here is that's slithering down there so that's the dungeons what's that there oh i see that's a grand staircase and Um, yay! I see the bridge! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to bounce the water off somewhere. So you've got, like I say, you've got to draw the line somewhere, otherwise it could go on and on and on and on especially with this being a super flat world it really can go on forever you 
step curiosity. How far out is that? Hmm. So we could actually level it off when it comes to a certain point. workable. Look at that. Whee. So but you don't want this all the way along. We need to phase it out. So that's what we can do here. We'll bring this wall out. We'll So, and again, yay! Let's bring a few more there. Shorten it up each time. Something like that. Don't forget the water's going to come out there, so you're not going to see that bit so much. Let's make this a little bit longer. we've got to do is kind of bridge that bit together. Should we try and tackle that now? It's only a little bit here. Just kind of bring it in to meet as much as we can. And then put one in underneath there. not going to be perfect so it is going to be a little bit fiddly I'm going to have to do something like that up there is it better to work our way down
So I don't like that coming too much there, so we're going to start leveling that off a bit there. Starting from the top and work your way down, I think. Just carry on the pattern a little. The detailing will hide any abnormalities as such. There will be a bit of a line there, but once you detail it, the detailing will hide that line. Okay, so I'll just plop an extra block there. It's not meant to be straight lines, it's not meant to be symmetrical, it's not meant to be neat. The messier, the better.
an extra block there. Tired. Okay. So I'm going to draw an extra line under there and plop an extra block there. Okay, so I've done more than I intended to. But at least we've got some of the landscaping squared away now. So more of that. Still got loads more to do but if we can get a little bit in every now and then it will mean I won't have to do whole episodes on the landscape. Right, do we want to continue that? Um, yes and no, we need to level it out at some point, don't we? So let's just do one layer from there. Can we get away with one more? Then I think we're going to level that bit off a bit there, and I 
down there. One more like that, and then drag that bit out there. There we go. So again, your water level will come up to there. We've probably got to have a little bit more fiddling about to do at that point there, but we'll sort that out when we release the water, I think. Fact. Let's just drag this to the wall. Right, so we've probably still got a little bit of fiddling with once the water's been released. But it's a bit tricky to see how that will work. So I think we'll wait for the water to be released and see what it looks like. So for your homework, can you guess what that might be? Detailing. It shouldn't take you long though, it's only a small area. It doesn't feel like it because it, it's taken us how long's that taken half an hour <laughs> but not with fast forward with beauty of fast forward so get that detailed heavy on the rocks on this particular side once this starts fading away i'd say heavy on the rocks the stone the cobblestone the bubble coral the deep slate i'd go heavy on that that side of things because it could get a lot more rocky that towards that side and next time we will start the entrance the main entrance when we come and do more landscaping we will do the bit around there that's going to be fiddly we've got to figure out how to make that meet that i think i know how to make that to meet that and you're not going to like it i'll go play with it on my world first to see if it actually works um so get that detailed it'll hide a lot of the lines as well there so if you get that detailed and that's more landscaping done so next time we're going to do the main entrance and I forgot what rooms are in that main entrance. Um, I think the staff room is in the main entrance, it's on the upper levels of the main entrance. We also have the music room, Professor Flitwick, his room, his choir room is at that end and then there's two towers which we'll get to at a later time well after the entrance hall after we've done the entrance hall we will get to the two towers we might not be able to do the interior to the entrance bit completely until we've added more of the next build on because there's a bit at the back that goes on and then more gets added to that so we might not be able to do it completely until that other bit gets added because walls on the inside will get put up and walls will be taken down and we won't know which walls would go up and which go down until the rest of the build starts getting added onto it so but we will definitely be able to get some done um let me see where am i just bear with me a moment and I will tell you what rooms we will get to do on the main entrance. I'm fairly confident the staff room is one of them. 
so I'm just focusing on the main entrance bit at the moment, not the towers either side or the bit at the back that gets added onto it. Which is so we definitely have the staff room. That's the next bit that gets added on. And underneath the staff room is the main entrance there, but we will only get them that far. So what have we got through here? Music room, so I was right. We will get the music room in and we will have like a waiting room or such for visitors that come in. So we have a waiting room, the staff room and the music room which will be going into the next part of the build. And then we'll put the two towers that go on either side of the entrance hall. And I'm not going to tell you what's inside those yet. The our room's inside. Third one of them anyway. There will be places as well where there's nothing because there will be disused classrooms within Hogwarts, there will be empty spaces and at the end of the day we have more space and we didn't quite know what to do with it all so a lot of it is going to cast as disused areas <laughs> Until we, unless we can think of something else what to do with it though but that's much further so next week entrance hall we're definitely going to get the exterior to the entrance hall mostly up i would think um the entrance hall will probably take a total of two to three parts including interior yeah okay fun times fun times right and that's it for me come join us on our discord server the potter's nights <laughs> Show us pictures of your bills, show us what twists and turns you've done to it. We like seeing them all. It doesn't have to be Harry Potter bills. We like seeing any bills. We love Minecraft in general, so any Minecraft bills we like seeing. Or if you just want to come for a chat. We're a friendly bunch. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it for us. So until next week, guys, take care of yourselves. Like or subscribe.